हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मेथड्स ऑफ सैंपलिंग मेथड्स ऑफ सैंपलिंग बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग एंड नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग इंक्लूड सिंपल रैंडम सैंपलिंग स्ट्रेटिफाइड सैंपलिंग सिस्टमेटिक सैंपलिंग क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग एंड नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग इंक्लूड कन्वीनियंस सैंपलिंग कोटा सैंपलिंग स्नोबॉल सैंपलिंग एंड जजमेंट सैंपलिंग वन बाय वन वी डिस्कस what each type of sampling firstly we are going to talk about probability sampling first type of probability sampling is simple random sampling simple random sampling is a type of sampling in which researcher randomly select some people from the population simple random sampling is a type of sampling in which researcher randomly select some people from the population and here each member have a equal chance of being selected because we can select any member from the population for example there are so many chits in one bowl which are in same color size and shape you randomly pick one chit from the bowl and here each chit have a equal chance of being selected now we are going to talk about second type of probability sampling it will call stratified sampling stratified sampling is a type of sampling in which researcher divide population into small homogeneous group then randomly pick sample from each group stratified sampling is a type of sampling in which researcher divide population into small homogeneous group then randomly pick sample from each group and these group basically called strata and homogeneous group means where all members share common characteristics for example you make one group in which you include all people of same age it will call homogeneous group because all members share common characteristic so we can say a stratified sample is a type of sample in which researcher divide population into small homogeneous group then randomly pick sample from each group for example researcher divide population based on gender in one group he include all male and other group he include uh, all female after uh, divide population based on gender and he pick some uh, sample from male group and some uh, sample from female group it will call stratified sampling now we are going to talk about next type of probability sampling it will call systematic sampling systematic sampling is a type of sampling which researcher select a member of population at regular interval systematic sampling is a type of sampling which researcher select a member of population at regular interval regular interval means while selecting sample i will keep equal gap for example first sample i select number 5 next sample i select number 10 next select number 15 next select number 20 here i am keeping equal gap of 5 5 5 it will call regular interval now we understand uh, systematic sampling with the help of one example two most important thing you must keep in your mind about systematic sampling firstly here we follow proper system because as its name suggests systematic sampling firstly we arrange a population into ascending or descending order or we can arrange alphabetical second most important thing is systematic sampling first sample we randomly select after that we follow regular interval in systematic sampling first sample we uh, we randomly select after that we follow regular interval so uh, with the example we understand systematic sampling total population is 100 and sample size we require 10 firstly we arrange population into ascending order 1 to 100 as we earlier discussed first sample we randomly select suppose we randomly select number 3 after that we select sample based on regular interval but how we can decide interval there is one formula for calculating Calculating interval total population over sample size. Here our total population was 100 and sample size was 10. 100 over 10 is equal to 10. So our regular interval of 10, we will keep gap of 10. So first sample we uh, we randomly select that is number three. After three we keep uh, gap of 10 because 10 is our interval regular interval. Three. Plus ten is equal to thirteen. So our next sample will thirteen. Thirteen plus ten is equal to twenty-three. Our next sample will twenty-three. Twenty-three plus ten is equal to thirty-three. Our next sample will thirty. And so on. Thirty-three plus ten equal to forty-three. Our next sample will forty-three. This process will continue until we have collected the sample as we require. So this is about a systematic sampling. 
नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग इट विल कॉल क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग इज द टाइप ऑफ सैंपलिंग इन विच पॉपुलेशन डिवाइडेड इन टू डिफरेंट क्लस्टर्स आफ्टर दैट वी रेंडमली पिक सम क्लस्टर एज अ सैंपल क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग इज द टाइप ऑफ सैंपलिंग इन विच पॉपुलेशन डिवाइडेड इन टू डिफरेंट क्लस्टर आफ्टर दैट वी रेंडमली पिक सम क्लस्टर एज अ सैंपल क्लस्टर्स आर बेसिकली ग्रुप एंड डोंट कंफ्यूज बिटवीन स्ट्रेटिफाइड एंड क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग इन स्ट्रेटिफाइड सैंपलिंग वी ऑल्सो डिवाइड पॉपुलेशन इन टू डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स दैन वी पिक सैंपल फ्रॉम इट मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्ट्रेटिफाइड एंड क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग इज दैट इन स्ट्रेटिफाइड सैंपलिंग विद इन ग्रुप ऑल मेंबर शेयर कॉमन करेक्टरिस्टिक बट दिस इज नॉट हैपन इन केस ऑफ क्लस्टर इन केस ऑफ क्लस्टर विद इन ग्रुप ऑल मेंबर डू नॉट शेयर सेम करेक्टरिस्टिक सो क्लस्टर सैंपल इज अ टाइप ऑफ सैंपल इन विच पॉपुलेशन डिवाइडेड इन टू क्लस्टर आफ्टर दैट वी रेंडमली पिक सम क्लस्टर एज अ सैंपल फॉर एग्जाम्पल गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट टू नो द इफेक्ट ऑफ न्यू टेक्सेशन पॉलिसी फर्स्टली गवर्नमेंट डिवाइड होल पॉपुलेशन इन टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट आफ्टर दैट रेंडमली पिक सम डिस्ट्रिक्ट एज अ सैंपल फॉर एग्जाम्पल गवर्नमेंट पिक फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन डिस्ट्रिक्ट एज अ सैंपल एंड वेन गवर्नमेंट पिक डिस्ट्रिक्ट एज अ सैंपल दैन होल विलेज टाउन इंक्लूड इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट विल ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ अ सैंपल एंड दिस इज अबाउट क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग फर्स्ट मैथड ऑफ नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग इज कन्वीनियंस सैंपलिंग इन कन्वीनियंस सैंपलिंग रिसर्चर विल चूज मेंबर who are more convenient to him in convenient sampling researcher will choose member who are more convenient to him for example if he doing research in delhi he will choose areas near by the delhi because these are more convenient to him now we are going to talk about next method of non probability sampling it's called quota sampling in quota sampling researcher firstly decide some fixed number and according to pre decided fixed number he collect sample in quota sampling researcher so firstly decide some fixed number and according to pre decided number he collect sample and fixed number called quota for example researcher make homogeneous group based on age first group include people who are between 11 to 21 age second group include people who are between 22 and 22 and 31 age and third group include people who are between 32 to 41 age and he told he need 11 sample of people who are between 11 to 21 age and 14 sample of people who are between 22 and 31 age and 16 sample of people who are between the age of 32 and 41 here you see researcher firstly decide some fixed number and according to pre decided number he collect data from each group Now we are going to talk about next type of non probability sampling it will call snowball sampling in snowball sampling researcher initially find one or two participant and ask them give me some reference or we can say that in snowball sampling researcher initially find one or two participant and ask them please help me to find other participant for example initially researcher find a and b and collect data from them and ask them please give me reference of other a give reference of d e and b give, give reference G F researcher go to them and collect data and ask them please give me reference of other person and they give reference of other person. This process will continue until researcher find required sample. You can see here is becoming one network. That's why it's also called networking sampling or chain sampling. This sampling basically used when very difficult to find participant. For example, we have to collect data of people who are HIV positive or we have to collect data of drugs user. Now we are going to talk about last method of non probability sampling it will call judgment sampling in judgment sampling researcher collect sample based on his knowledge or we can say that in judgment sampling researcher collect sample based on his personal judgment for example you go to one teacher and ask him please give me name of five students for quiz competition then teacher based on his knowledge will select five student among 40 student which he think more suitable for quiz competition and this is all about a method of sampling i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care